William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate. How to play the Trilby Tour, rule number 82. If you're going to take ages looking and checking and checking and looking and checking again and looking again and checking and looking one last time. Please make sure your subsequent shot isn't a complete embarrassment. Thank you. For the final regional championship of 2019, the Trilby Tour rolls up in Sussex and brand spanking new venue Dale Hill. Winding its way high through the Sussex wheel, the course at Dale Hill provides a fresh set of challenges for players and, of course, one last chance to qualify for the final. In the show, we'll have all the best play of the day, a challenging four-man three-hole playoff and we'll save plenty of bad shots for Rogue's Gallery. But now, here's our commentator, Rob Lee. Thank you, Mac. Yes, it is a gorgeous day at Dale Hill, right on the edge of East Sussex and Kent. Two courses here, the Woosdom course, but we're concentrating on the old course. It's short, it's tricky, it's deceptive. Do not take it for granted. First few holes, you've got a chance, then after that, it's look out. Let's get to William on the first. Andy, yeah. home course. Yes. And qualifier. Yes, really lastminute.com. Yeah. 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 So that's got to put you in good... I mean, it's got to be your day today, surely. Well, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? I well, mean, it all, you know well... I don't really care. You know, say, well, you'd hope so, surely. I would hope so, yes, yes of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. So I'll tell do us, my best. Tell us what you know about this course. Tell us what we've got to watch it's out for. It's taken me six years to yeah. understand this little course. OK. So it's really quirky. Yeah. And it's where the ball lies below the pin. That's the okay. key. If That's you can it. do that more often than not, you're going to score well. OK, can you do that? Yeah. What's it going to take today to get to that, to that playoff? Top 10? No, or top playoff, four. playoff, yeah. I reckon 36, 37. Have you got it in you? Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. I'm confident. A couple of par fives on the front line. The first hole's just over 335 yards. Out of bounds on the right. Now, he's a Dale Hiller, Andy Gibbs. You should know that you don't go right. Left is OK. Oh, straight down the middle. Nice start, bold. Man, it looks like he knows what he's doing. Robin, you keep coming back. Yes. You want this, don't you? I do. And what are you going to do about it? Yes, well, I mean, there was a time, a couple of times ago, when we were down uh, on the Isle of Purbeck. Yes. And, oh. I, and I had a chance down there of going into the playoffs. Yeah. But unfortunately, um, I selected the wrong club for the uh, shootout, yeah. and I didn't get through. I still went to the whole final. Yes, but of course. The idea is to try and get into the last four. My God, Purbeck was tough, wasn't it? It was very tough. If, if you can play well down there, you can you can it's, surely it's gobble was, this course up. Well, this course is tricky. Mm. It's not very long, but it's mm. very, very tricky. Does it suit your game? Um, well, the greens, I think it all depends who putts well on these mm. greens because they're very tricky to putt on. Yeah. So, but They're yeah, very nice. They are very nice. What are you going to give us today? I think 36. If, it, if I can go around in 36, I should be highly delighted. You'll take that. I will indeed, yeah. Let's see what happens. Yeah, indeed. Now, here's Robin's tee shot. It's got timber. And Mannery comes from, I played there a long time ago, down near Little Hampton from memory. Now, how's this one doing? Ah, well, you see, the more left you go, dog leg to the right, you get an angle. That's all right. Robin Stace. Seven handicapper? Yep. That's good. Yep. No, played first here yesterday. Out, yeah, first time out the Trilby Tour? Absolutely. Loved it. Watched it on TV. Just had to come and play. Good it was man. brilliant. Now, brilliant. you were here yesterday practicing, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. And how did that go? Good, yeah, that no, was good. We, I mean, didn't take score. I just wanted to see what the course was like. Greens are in excellent condition. I'll, I'll make you right there because I, I think a lot of guys put too much pressure on themselves by trying to make a score the day before. For me, it would be a stroll. I'd probably even take a buggy to, to save the legs and keep I'm, fresh. I like to see where you can, where to be off the drive, yeah. position the green, cuts yeah. around yeah. the greens. I mean, the greens are in just so good condition. Aren't they just? They're lovely and quick and subtle burrows everywhere. It's really, really good. You come across a man who knows his own game. Yep. So I think you might do quite well today. Well, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know what's going to win. 36, will it get into the I think spot? you'll need 36. Yep. How are the nerves? That's a good hand, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark's tee shot. 
The Horsham Massive have turned up to watch him. He's a seven handicapper and first ever Trilby Tour. Uh, that's pretty good too. A little bit of early morning dew, nothing like it. Sun will burn that off very shortly. Mr. Captain, tell us about this place. Dale Hill, 36 holes. Old course which we're playing today, yeah. Ian Wilson course, yeah. old course, totally different to the other course, very tight, very narrow. Well, that's why we've gone here, isn't it? Because it's so yeah. tight, because yeah. these guys are here to boom it all over the place. Absolutely, it's And they totally come up different. here and they're going to come unstuck. Yeah. So, so tell us where they're going to come unstuck. Back nine, Yeah. we call it Eamon Corner, yeah. 13, 14, 15, yeah. 16. Yeah. You get through there, uh, level handicap, you've got a chance. Wow, and um, can you do that? Yeah, done wow. it many times. Wow. Many times I haven't, many times I have. What's the, where can we pick up some, point, some points? Front, front seven holes, okay. uh, it leads you into a full sense of security. Yeah, yeah. Um, first hole's obviously a little bit difficult out yeah, of bounds there, yeah. but then you should pick up some uh, par, number four is an easy par okay. five to some okay. people. People look at the card here, think it's really easy, yeah. it's short, yeah. but the rough is uh, pretty thick as well, as, right. as the guys are going to find so out. So you should be able to give me a score, what's your score? 36 points. Captain, oh my captain, here he goes. See, no driver here, look, he knows what he's doing. Watch this, watch that. Oh, yes. All the captain's cronies piled up behind the back of that tee. Very smooth, very accomplished. Neil, your course, your club, your day? I hope so. Uh, the course is in great condition. It's going to be fair for all golfers. Yeah. And I think, uh, all in all, the weather's helping, so it's going to be a great day. What are you good at around here? Oh, I'm a putter. Oh, yeah. Putting is my strength. The greens uh, are gorgeous. They, they are. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're quite slopy in places, mm -hmm. so there'll be a bit of a test of golf if you're coming down the hill. That's going to hurt if you don't know these greens, isn't it? It is, because, yeah. you know, you get above the hole and you can yeah. putt off the green. Yeah, yeah. Um, putting is where the, the score is done. So what score are you going to bring us today? Uh, I'd like to be close to 40 points wow. if I could. Wow. I think we'll have a chat with the Handicap Commission on that one. Well, we'll see, we'll see how we go. But, okay. uh, you know, at the end of the day, 38 would be really nice. OK, play well. Thank you. Neil Jones, another Dale Hiller. Now, that's down the left-hand side. Umpire signals left, but left is OK. We know that now. Right is out of bounds. Left, you have a shot. Tactics from the very first hole. From a man who knows. He's got the look. Out onto the golf course, then. And to the fourth, it's the first par five. There's only two of them, and they're both on the front nine. This is Robin Stace's effort. And a little idea how slopey some of these greens are. That's running away. It's all right, though. Yeah, Robin almost looking a little bit surprised at that one. That's absolutely fine. Into the back nine for Mark Aratus. His second, 15 points only until now. And he's running this one in down the hill. Quite a lot of change in elevation, mind you, at a place called Dale Hill, to be expected, really. Shadow of the cameraman. Andy Gibbs. Now, can he get this to stop quickly? Well, it did stop quickly, but it wasn't by the juice that it had on the ball. It just missed the green the left. It's all right. Into the 12th, the par 4. 445 yards. This is a beast. Somehow it's only the fifth hardest hole in the course, but it plays a lot tougher than that. And you can see the problems. Again, tipping down onto the front edge of that green, getting it to bounce and stop at the right distance is difficult. First look at Jonathan Muggridge from West Sussex Golf Club. That's in Pulborough. I've played there. Chanctonbury Ring, George Hilliard Trophy. Both of them sitting on my desk. Now that needs to get a giddy up. That's come up very short from there. And that is a caddy problem. Short or long, it's the caddy. Left or right, it's the coach. Paul Bleasdale, who has played 14 Trilby Tours. He's a Hall of Famer. He's yet to string it all together. But you keep coming back. Give yourself enough chances. It might all happen one day. He's a nine handicapper. And he's played that very well. That's a beauty. That's a quick putt, by the way. But a very good approach. All the way back to the second, which is 216 yards. And you would think on the golf course it's only... 5.8 in length. You wouldn't have a par 3 this long, but you have. It's a toughie, and that's going to be tough from there. Bunker to carry, and then downhill to the pin. That's ugly. Now, Rate is right by the cameraman. Cheeky little chip and run up the hill. And that needed a good old scalp to get it back at the hole. So that's come up short. Pether. Just by the front left corner of the green. And a little scudder. That's going to struggle to whoa down. I said whoa. 
don't think that quite came out in the middle of the club. Nearer the bottom, I fancy. Still one good putt. And it goes down. No pictures on a scorecard. Mugridge, after a quick start. Pitching a long way down the green. A little unfortunate. That stopped so quickly. We don't have many Trilby Turians with clean grooves. That's what happens. You can catch it properly and you can get some backspin. Backspin is at a premium here, though. Over the bunker. Pitches on the down slope. He's played it nicely. Get in. Oh, great shot. Couldn't really have done too much better than that. It's the miss left that was the problem. First hole of the back nine is the 10th hole, Andy Gibbs. is using his nous around the greens. And on this occasion, used it very well. In the end, 32 points around tricky Dale Hill, the old course. He'll have to wait, but I wouldn't think that's good enough. Robin Stace, give it a hit. Hit it hard, Robin. Give it a whack. Go on. Oh, that's a marvellous effort. Marvellous effort. 32 points. That right now is tied at the top in the clubhouse. Aratis, 15 points only, but this is for a four. Up the hill, hit it hard, and that's how you do it. All in all, though, can do no better than 29 points. So, hasty back, Mark. Hasty back to the Trilby Tour. Peathers fourth at the 12th. Going well. 22 points to this very point on the golf course. Had a crack at it. And that's the best so far. 33 points for Ian Pether. But remember, the finish on this golf course is where people tend to drop shots. Mugridge for the par. Already got five points. And he's got 15 shots. His handicap is 15. He gets three quarters of that, of course. 33 points in the end for Jonathan. That, at this moment, is better than everybody else. Bar one. Bleasdale's birdie attempt at 13. Now, with a tidy finish, he could be a factor. Around you come. Go on. Well, that had to go in. 33 points are queuing up. Stacking up to get into the four-man playoff. We saw Damon Rakes miss the second way left, hit a really good pitch, and this is fully 15 feet back up the hill towards the hole. Be brave. Be brave. Mm. Almost. Almost a really good save. Let's throw to William, who's talking to one of last year's regional winners. Rob, great to see you again. The last time we saw you, you were doing what exactly? Uh, crying. <laughs> yes, you were. Why? Uh, winning the Oxfordshire event. Yeah. Um, it was just an amazing day. Lots of emotion. There was. A lot of, you had a lot of support there, didn't you, that day? I did. I had a group, a lot, good group a of friends. A massive group of friends. Yeah. And gave you a lot of support. Yeah. Um, and you played well. You played fantastically well, didn't you, that the, day? The three playoff holes were... I couldn't have played those did any better. Did you surprise yourself how well you played that day? Yes. Because I had no expectations. Okay. And the, like I said, the last three holes, I didn't hit a bad shot. Mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. was just, it was just one of those three holes, really. You did play that beautifully. I did, yeah. And you lifted that trophy. There were tears, weren't there? It wasn't just me. I know. There's a few of us. There's a few of us. There's a few of us because yeah. you're, you're off the back of a, a tough year yep. and you came back with that, didn't you? Yep. And then, this year, and then this year? This year is, again, uh, no expectations, yeah. but I'm swinging the club quite well. Yeah, but so, I'm going to expect something from you now. You're a champion. Well, well, let's hope. But it'd be nice to be the champion of Sussex. It'd be nice to win two years on trial, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be nice to see you up in Hull again. Once a champion, always a champion. Last year it was Oxfordshire. What about this season? Make it happen at Dale Hill. Just be the ball, Danny. I'm waiting for that one to come down. A little bit of a shortcut. That might be very tasty for Rob Perry. He's off and running, trying to get past 33 points. During the break, have a think about Mark Miller and this recovery attempt from a poor tee shot on 15 and see if you can work out what happened next. William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate. Before the break, we asked you to work out what happened to Mark Miller's second shot from an unplanned lie on the 15th. Well, while he may have avoided the ditch first time round, he scuffed it straight in there this time. Back to Rob. 
Welcome back. We are at Dale Hill. It's a gorgeous day. The Championship of Sussex. Everybody's teed off now, and there are three players at 33 points in the clubhouse. That's the Pether, the Mugridge, and the Bleasdale. They have to wait. See if anybody is going to get past them. Just to remind you, if you're watching the Trilby Tour for the first time, four players make it through the playoff to play three holes. Rob Perry, we saw him before the break. And that needs a little bit of ground help. That's going to be not very straightforward with his lob wedge. Back to the seventh on the front nine. It's another big par three, 202 yards down the hill. Ball stayed in the air a long time. Not too bad. This is the other monster par three on the front nine. Because the ninth is a shorty, 141 yards, but the second is not. Now that will not gather onto the front edge of the green. So, work to be done. Back to Perry and his pitch and putt par at nine. It's a bit skinny. Oh, it's a bit skinny and it's running and running and running. It's a loose one. A bit edgy there, Rob Perry. Haradine second. Lefty. Now he's read that pretty well. It looked like it would ease away to the left. It didn't. It held its line. Good chip. Graves with his second at two. Par the first. Two points so far. This might gather. Mm, a lot of check on it. Never seen such backspin. Long, long effort for Perry's par at nine. Uh, it will not be a par at nine. So four for one point for Perry. And he moves into the back half of this championship round in Sussex. That's the way to chip and putt for Neil Harradine. In the end, 34. Out on his own. In pole position now. 33 is getting very worried. Graves par putt at the second. Left to righter. He's trying. Trying. If only he got those lines lined up. Damon Rakes. Now this is one of those shots. Look at that blue sky. Look at that. Look at the skills of our cameraman on this occasion. That ball never left the centre of your picture. Stoked by Nayland Simon Oliphant. Oh, he's got a nice free swing. Plays off of 10, which is pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's one of the best we've seen all day, Simon. Well played. Excellent. It's funny when you hit a nice shot, you just look like a man that's got a strut about him. Certainly for Simon, that was the case. Rob Perry. That's clipped a bit of foliage. It's ended up all right. Didn't hit anything too major, so he's got a putt. I think he's quite relieved. Quite relieved. Rakes from the left-hand corner of the seventh. Neither pace nor line at that one. To Oliphant. Oh, he's just stretching the back, staying nice and loose. This is a gift. Look at this. Oh, I had him down for that one after the brilliance of the approach. Two putts from five feet. That's not going to get the job done. Not in the Trilby Tour. There's so many hot shots out in the links. Perry's third. Putting with the flag in. 33 points. That right now is playing off. But it's still going to struggle. We have a 34. That's clear. Rakes with the par putt. And it wasn't a par, but it is another 34 point total for Damon. And playing off a of five handicap. That's respectable. Oh, now look at that. That, I think, is a Spitfire. Might be a hurricane. I think it's a Spitfire. I think they had 22 versions of that aeroplane. It's just a thing of beauty. Look at that. Just take it out for a little run the countryside. Gorgeous. Let's get to William, who's going to talk us through the three playoff holes. And thank you, Rob. I'm here on the balcony at the clubhouse at the lovely Dale Hill with John, director of golf. And John's going to talk us through the playoff holes. So um, it's been a tough morning for some of these guys, hasn't it? Because the, the, uh, the front nine's a little bit easier on the eye and, um, and easier to play, but the back nine catches them out. Yeah, definitely. Um, through 12, 13, 14, yeah. 15, really tight. And uh, yeah, I think um, 
front nine's a little bit easier, back nine really comes and bites them. So our playoff holes are some of those holes, aren't they, really? Yeah, yeah, so we've got uh, hole 10 as yeah. our first playoff hole. Yeah. Um, shortish par four. Okay. A um, little pond in front of the, uh, the yeah. green, so we've moved the tee up a little bit. Yeah. Um, Give them a bit of a chance. Are we tempting them? Well, yeah, I think it's easy yeah. to knock it on there, but yeah. um, it's quite well, tight. easy so. from here. Yeah, definitely. Yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, knocking a nine or, yeah. or a hybrid into play. Yeah. Um, and to a, to a smallish green, mm. um, but there's deep roof on the left and trees on the right, so you get it slightly wrong, it's quite a little, difficult. Little Undulations bit. on that green? Yeah, yeah, um, back to front. Yeah. Um, and the green's quite quick today, so yeah, um, yeah playing a Catching a, a few guys it. out, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 From there, we're going to? Uh, going to 11. Yeah. Uh, tricky hole 11. Yeah. Um, so bit Another of a four. Par four down the hill, mm -hmm. um, plays quite short because it is downhill, yeah. but a difficult tee shot. Um, Again, is, is that tempting the big guys going to go for it, thinking I can do this? But yeah, but if you do get already. it quite yeah. close, then yeah. um, it can be a very difficult pitch in because the green yeah. actually slopes away from you. So, so, um, so no advantage tricky. to going for it, really. Not really, no. Longer okay. club in, um, full shot, and uh, get a bit of spin on that. So so far, shot. we're talking about the short game, isn't it? Lay up and short. Yeah, games. very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And up, coming up the 18th now, which is. Looking quite resplendent, isn't it? I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, the course has been in fantastic condition, isn't it? The course is in great yeah. condition. Yeah, everyone's yeah. saying Green's quick, is. Um, course is lovely, yeah. yeah. I mean, each hole has got its own individual style, hasn't it? And, and they all look quite inviting to go for, and then they bite. Yeah, exactly. I think on card it, it looks quite short, but yeah. uh, I think by the scores that we've got today, it's proved that they're, they're not as easy as it looks. They're okay, not. so tell us about this last hole. 18, uh, again, fairly short par four. Mm -hmm. um, so just trying to get it around these corners. There's three fairway bunkers up there. Um, just avoiding those, leave yourself a, a pitching wedge, sort of nine iron in. Um, Again, green's quite flat, so you've got a chance of making birdie mm, if you can mm, hit a good tee shot mm. and get into play. But well, this hole, I mean, it looks pretty wide, but you can leak it out right, can't you? You're in trouble. Yeah, definitely. And, and you can tug it left, and you're in big trouble there. Aren't Right's you? out of bounds, yeah. um, and left, those bunkers come into play, and then yeah. there's a couple of hedges and trees out there. So, yeah, under pressure, obviously, find in the middle of the fairway, find in the middle of the green. And the 18th green is probably the friendliest. Yeah, it's of the fairly lots. flat it's fairly out big there, green but as well, isn't it? Been watching it today. Quite yeah. a few people running it past a little bit, so um, yeah, it should be exciting to finish. So, what do you think we need to score on those three holes? Um, I think three pars is a good respectable yeah. score, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 12. Okay, well Rob, there you have it. We need three pars to possibly win, or better. Well, of course, that's all to come. People are still jostling for position, trying to make it into the playoff four places available. This is Lee Graves. Old Thorns is where he hails from. Five handicapper first Trilby Tour event. And that was played like a man who knew what he was doing. He used the contours pretty well, so he's putting. Good work. Oliphant into the back nine now. Now, is this the right distance? Looked like he had it on a string there. Oh, no, it was slightly turf first. Turf, ball, turf, not the way forward. Jamie Heavens. Is he bad Heavens or is he good Heavens? He's bad Heavens on this occasion. You can see when some of the players are making their their stroll towards some of the greens, it is very up and down. So getting the club right is tricky, super tricky. And because they have slopes, greens can be deceptive. Heaven's third at the 11th, 19 points. Very well played day so far. And that's a beautiful shot. How about that? It's going to stay in the red. He's looking like the man to catch right now. Oliphant's birdie chip at the 10th hole. Could do some good stuff. Come on. On you come. 34 points for Simon. And that's the best so far. Not on his own, but nobody's better than that. And that's the key thing. Evans is doing very nicely. Two pars for 38 points. And that will get the job done. But the 17th is 144 yards. Just find it and hit it straight like that. And that's good. Greens are very receptive today. So you've got a chance to have a go at some of these pins. Graves down the hill. He stood up out of that very quickly. And you always push it when that happens. Creditable 36 points. New top man. But maybe not for long. Because Heavens has a putt. And is already 34 points to hit. Oh my goodness me. Wrong club. So heavens with his problems. Neil Jones looked confident when he started a little earlier on the show. This is his tee shot at nine. The little dinky par three down the hill. Stay there. Hole high is always very good. Jonesy. 
Good stuff. Under par. Evans for the par at 17. Oh, that's terrific. 37 points for Jamie. That may not get bettered. It'll certainly get him through at the last four. Who else is doing well? Well, again, Jones after the tee shot at nine. 18 points. So he's going to improve on that. He's going to be out in 20 points. And back in 18, 38 points. That's the best score of the day. Terrific effort around Dale Hill. The old course, to be precise. So it's a chip off from the greenside bunker. One from three between Oliphant, Haradine, and Rakes. And it had to be, didn't it? The man who hit the best bunker shot was the man called Rakes. It's a natural. Neil Haradine does qualify for the World Championship final, as does Simon Oliphant. Well played those two, hard lines, not quite good enough to get into the final four. And these are the confirmed positions. Jones, Heavens, Graves and Rakes will go for the title of champion of Sussex. Everybody else qualifies for the World Championship final in Hull next week. So good news for them, but massive exciting news for these four. They just found out they are going to contest for the championship of Sussex. Only room for one winner. We'll see you after the break. William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate. Good to have you back. It's the tingly bit. Four men playing three holes and we're going to try and find the champion of Sussex on this year's Trilby Tour. Always nervous moments, standing on that first tee, waiting for your name to be announced. Let's get to the playoff panel. Thank you, Robert. I'm here on the first of our playoffs, the club's 10th. I'm here with Carl, who's general manager at the fantastic Dale Hill, and everyone knows this fella, Paul, the wonderful, the not qualified here today, Rogers. Yeah. But uh, yeah, last chance saloon didn't make it, did you? No. And we've got four lads that did make it. We've got a, a, a local boy, yeah. who's your vice captain. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we've got Jamie Evans, Lee Graves, and Damon Rikes. Now, yeah. Talk us through what they've got to do on this hole, because this is, this is a pretty straightforward hole, surely. surely uh, it is. Pretty straightforward. It's a 10th hole on our course, 260 mm -hmm. yards. Could be driven by the longer players, but upon fronting the green, so risk and reward. Otherwise, lay up and a wedge on So the if rim. we don't make it, if we drive, we're in trouble, yeah? Yeah. And what else is there? Because it looks pretty tough down the right there. If you, get, if you leak a out to the right, you're in trouble. few trees on the right-hand yeah? side, yeah. But yeah. Uh, I think favour to the left-hand side if you're laying up. Otherwise, have a dig at the green. Paul, I know it's been a while <coughs> since you've been in this position. It has, and yeah. it's hurt that you've not made it this, this season so far. It has. What's going through their minds right now? I think it's just the nerves. It's been a long day for these guys. Mm -hmm. You know, they've got here. Some have been sat around since mm. this morning. That, yeah. um, what well, Lee doing. Grace is one of the first out this morning. Yeah, that's right. Mm. So I think he's got to put that out of his head and just uh, just play his game and mm. just keep it ball in play and um, mm. go from there, really. What are they going to do on this hole? What, what they, how are they going to play it? Cause what, think, lads got, one lad's got, two lads got birdies this morning. Yeah, that's good. That's yeah. good birdie chances. Yeah. That, so, uh, But it is birdie chances. Yeah. There's, there's, mm. there's birdie chances available yeah. there. But I think, um, like you say, and the correct shot is lay up and then a little shot into the green and try for your birdie. A lay up, you go for a lay up or a go, would you go for it? Uh, I would have a go if it was me, <laughs> but I, I think it's a lay up all of the Okay, moment. putting you on the spot, I know what you're going to say. Who, who's going to win? Neil Jones, my vice captain. I think we would have got that yet, no one's had a shot yet, but he's, he's the local boy, he's got the local knowledge. Okay, so okay. I'm going to go Lee Graves. Okay. Yeah, which means he's not going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Back to you, Rob. Yes, they were sort of chortling, but it's true. Williams back to you. It's see you later. No point making a swing or hitting the shot or anything. Just don't do anything. Just let the other three play. Yes, they're all getting introduced now. Time is running out. Shed those nerves and make the best swing you can. Three fairly short par fours, it has to be said, but they're tricky. Hi, I'm Neil Jones. I'm 58. I'm from Dale Hill and my handicap is 11. I've really enjoyed it. I mean, like, to be honest, I was a late entrant. I wasn't playing until the end of last week. Then a place became available and I thought, yeah, why not? But it's great fun. You meet some people you don't know uh, and you have great fun with it. What a setup. Uh, 11 is my tricky hole. So 10, I'm okay with. 11's an awkward hole for me because I tend to move the ball left to right and it's a right to left hole. So uh, that's when I got to do well. So just nudge it down the fairway. Look, it's only 301 yards. A 200 yarder gives you a 100 yard wedge. That looks like just the job. Scuttling down there. That's lovely. Jamie Heavens, I'm 25 years old. I play at Bulbury Woods Golf Club in Dorset and a handicap of 12. 
Yeah, it's been really good actually. First time on the Chilby Tour. It was just a case of coming out and having some fun really. Played at a course I've never played before. So it was just kind of a blind, blind round and ended up playing quite well. Uh, I think I did okay on the par fours. Um, 18, had a birdie putt, lips out. Um, 10 and 11, I must have scored because I didn't blob on the last, on the, on the back nine. So I must have done okay. So I'll try and do exactly the same thing again, I think. Again, just a little nudger in his hand. Bit of speed, but that's gone left. How far left? Oh, a long way left. Next up, Mr. My name's Lee Graves. My hand, um, age is 44. I play at Old Forms Golf Club. My handicap is five. Brilliant. Um, as I said, it's very similar to the course I play. It's more about positional play rather than booming it long, um, which suits my game a little bit because I'm not the longest. But as I said, positional play off the tee gives you a chance to go into the greens, which are quite receptive today, so I played well. I will play them exactly the same way as I played them in the round. Um, I parred all three, so I can't grumble there. Um, but I think the playoffs going to obviously be a little bit different. Probably nerves get into, into it a little bit for all of us that will be involved, and we'll just see what happens. But yeah, I'll play it the same way as I played in, in the normal round. It's just nice and steady. Yeah, and iron's a good choice. Very smart effort. Oh, now that's gone off at a tangent to the right. That's, I would say, very close to the hosel. Uh, that horrible word, shank. Damon Rakes, Mid Sussex Golf Club, age 44, handicap of five. Oh, nerve wracking, the most ever I've ever felt on a golf course in my life. Like I say, played a lot of scratch team golf, but this is has to top it in my golf. I've been absolutely shaking like a leaf. I didn't really play particularly well, but I just dug in and just ground it out a little bit, to be honest. Nothing really went as well as what I expected, but it's just nerves at the end of the day. Damon, first Trilby Tour, what an opportunity. That looked good. Now don't go too far. Can run out of trouble, it's all right. Do run out of real estate, about 250 yards down there, so it's just okay. Now let's go ball hunting. To Gray's first of all, blocked out, threader. Well, he's done the first bit, he's missed all the timber, and he's going to lay it up. Leaving himself that for his third to a front flag, that's difficult. So penalised for being out of position, as is Jamie Evans. Oh, he's taking it up and over. How's your luck? Well, that's astonishing. That really is astonishing. He grabbed the ball by the horns, and that is a wonderful shot. The best shot of his life. Rakes with a pitch, a tricky pitch. Not in the fairway, it's in the rough. Now how delicate is he going to be? Played it well. Played it very well. Birdie putt coming. All of a sudden they're pulling out all the stops. Pitch and a putt required for the par for Lee Graves. Oh, they're all getting their iron, aren't they? Tremendous. Two birdie putts and a par putt there. Last to go is Neil Jones. Dale Hill, man. Little stab. And he's got that to stop pretty well. So a pretty accomplished first hole from the four finalists. Jones for the birdie. Give it a chance. Go for gold. Glory. Ball marker. Oh, dear. Damon Rakes. Get going. Hurry. Go on. Go on then. Very good effort. Not a birdie, but it's a it's a par at the first playoff hole. And in Trilby to a playoffs, that's never a bad score. Graze for the par. Hanging in there. Not quite. So it's gonna be a drop shot. All calls from the shot from the tee. So one over par for Lee Graves. Two holes to go. Two tricky little par fours. Evans for the birdie after the wonder shot. Just couldn't make himself hit it straight enough. It's a par and no harm done. What a birdie that would have been. I'd sort of mentally given this to Neil Jones and I was wrong. He laid it up. Played that as a two-shot strategy from four feet. That's not what the doctor ordered. 
I think it's most notable there that uh, both our picks, your two and mine, both bogeyed. And uh, yeah. yeah, so you're in the same club as me so far. Right? <laughs> uh, my guy was a bit of a mess there off the, off the tee, but recovered not too bad. But yeah. anyway, there's two lads, one down, uh, one over, two lads level. Yeah. What was going on there? I don't know. These I are mean, good players. They're very good players. Um, you know, I think the 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 hard pick um, he, he played it well up to the uh, yeah. up to the diet there, which was a great shot, mm -hmm. tee shot. Um, what they got to do now? I mean, we we saw the both dropped a shot there, the two lads that took the ball. We should have got birdie out that really off someone. Yeah. But what they got to do here now? How's well, that, how's that bogey going to play on the minds? Well, they've got to put that out of the mind now, haven't they? They've got to uh, forget that all go again. Um, yeah. It's just a short downhill hole, but they've got yeah. to pick the line, they've picked yeah. the right line, get it down there and try and make birdie get that shot back. Line's very important on this one, isn't it? Line's and what is the line here? The line is at the red and white stake that's okay. on the ground there. Anything so. clever we could do? You know, so you say that, go over the stake, but is there yeah. any, any shortcuts we could take Not on here? Not really from there. It's okay. over that stake because that's, that's the perfect line with a straight shot over that. With a driver? With driver, three wood, iron yeah. shot, whatever they have. What's it going to leave us in? Wedge down the hill, and okay. the green rolls away from you. So you've got to, you've probably got to land a little bit short of the green. It's that nasty green throwing yeah. you away, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How did you get on here today, Paul? I uh, made par on here today, so. Uh, That's but I went driver over the tree. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Paul had made par today, but nowhere else today. So. <laughs> Back to the jangly nerves of the playoff boys, Jamie Evans. Talking to it. It's going down the right hand side. Now is it in trouble? Oh, it could be. Next to Lee, Gambled. Well, there it is. Well, what sort of a shot he's got from there? We'll find out. Damon Rakes, three wood. Fairway wood. I'm not convinced it's a three wood. It's a good swing. Nice move from Damon. And that is perfect. Plays very much downhill. The longest of the three par fours. It's 365 yards. And is that holding up down the right hand side? And finally, let's hear it, please, for nope. Lee Graves. So there is a chance for everybody. Lee Graves can find the fairway. He could be back in it. It's a better swing. Very difficult with this late afternoon sunshine for the camera boys, but they're doing a grand job. And that one's perfect. Birdie back and then you go down the last, you've got an opportunity. Now this is a severe upslope for the second Jamie Evans. Blind. He's giving it a heave from there. Get left. Get left a tiny bit. Well done. Try, mate. Try. Give yourself a chance. Well now where's that gone? He's not putting. And it, Neil Jones won't be putting after this one either. Just getting it back in play. And in many ways, it's sensible. Give yourself a chance. Don't knock yourself out of it with a hole to go. Rakes off a really good tee shot. Oh, he's just trying to feel this one in. Now, what have you done, Damon? What have you done? Oh, you've hit a cracker. You are in the driving seat, no doubt about it. Slow putt from there, but you are putting for a birdie. Lee Graves dropped a shot at the first. Could all change with this approach. Two good swings in a row. He's shaking his head, doesn't like it. Didn't catch it properly. Trying very hard to grovel its way onto the front edge. He can still roll that one in, he might even putt that. Jamie Evans third finished. Well, you'll see where it finishes, but his second finish there. This is the third. Yes, and he's done well. And he's done well to give himself that one for a par. That's Jamie Evans. Now for Jones, it's quite simple. Simply must get up and down. Stay plus one and stay in it. He's gone for the scumble. Steady. Mm, it runs and runs and runs. That's how hilly and slopey it is around Dale Hill. Just got away from him. Miracle chipping. That would change the complexion of it, no doubt about it. It is indeed the putter for Lee Graves. He knows it's quick. That's pretty well done. So a bogey at the first and a par at the second, plus one going down the last. Chances. 
This is the unlikely one for par. Right back up the hill. It's a good one, isn't it? it oh, what an effort. Beautiful putt, but it's two bogeys back to back for Neil Jones. He'll be teeing off last. No doubt about that. Down the final hole. Rakes for the birdie. Dakota minus one. Minus one. Only got three men to beat. Wasn't far away. But a tap in par and super steady Damon Rakes right now. He is one of the five handicappers. As is Lee Graves. Jamie Hebbins. My goodness me, I think that's just a little bit too much energy in that one. Pup back for the bogey. Plus one down the last. Come on. Yeah, well done. Really bravely hold for a bogey at the second playoff hole. In with a fighting chance. Well, 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 your boy slips even further back. And my guy is still in contention, but not as good as Rakes, Mr. Rakesy. And... Uh, He's, you know, he's come through the, uh, the, the shootout. Yeah. His adrenaline's up. We see this often. A guy that doesn't quite make the playoff clear yeah, yeah, yeah. and comes through on, on the shootout. Can, his adrenaline's up. Whereas the other guys, especially your man, who got the best mm. score in the day, mm. slips away because maybe, he's, maybe he's, he's done everything he can. Mm. So this hole is the easiest hole in the course, I'm told. Mm. It's a pretty easy hole, yeah. 330 yards. Yeah. Dog leg right to left. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, birdie up. It's uphill. Oh, slightly, but yeah. you just carry the bunkers on the left-hand side and yeah. you will be near the green and you can what? chip on make a birdie. What's the fear? Nothing to fear, yeah. Any outbounds down the right? Yeah, there is, but well, it's You could spill it out right, though, couldn't you? You could do, but it's a long way. Yeah? Not, not, not the line to take. Over the bunkers on the left. Okay. Yeah, That's place to go. Paul, what's happening to these guys now in this <coughs> one? I think it's just the tide is setting in it on a few of these guys. Oh, yeah, I do, yeah. But, Are they making uh, club selections wrong? or the Maybe a little bit, I think, but yeah. um, I don't know. Damon there, he's looked pretty solid, doesn't he? Yeah. I think all he got to do is not one up the right-hand side now. Yeah. Take that first bunker on and make par. Yeah. And, you know, so what we're saying is this is the easiest hole. All Damon's got to do is make, make a par here, mm -hmm. and then we'd be all right because we've all cho chosen Damon for the last, <laughs> as the winner on the last hole. <laughs> yeah, correct, yes. yeah. Thanks, Rob. Back to you. <laughs> Cheers, William. OK, this is it. All comes down to four really good shots. Rakes out in front, level par. Oh, he kept his posture there nicely, didn't he? Full of confidence. Smoked it. How about that? Take that. So he's level. Jamie Hebbins is the next best at plus one. Also going with the big dog. Woof. Smattering of applause, but it looks like it's a little right. Only a little. That's lovely. Good tee shot. Is it between those two? No, because Lee Graves is also just plus one. He's wearing that long iron out. Another good move. Swatted that one down the fairway. Lovely. Good distance as well with an iron. 331 yards, the 18th. Jones simply has to make a birdie and hope. He needs help, as we all do. Look at the sun. He's got the brim of that hat. Just keep it shade over his eyes and it was worth it. He's found the left-hand side of the fairway. Four very good tee shots. Very high standard in this playoff. As the crowd and the players and that energy wanders down the 18th. So, to the seconds. Jamie Heavens. Damon Rakes does not look like making a mistake. Is there a birdie coming? No, perhaps not. It only just stayed in bounds. That was very loose. Graves with his second. Quite simple, isn't it? Back and through and not too much to worry about. Crackerjack second. Well, 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 Lee Graves. After a shaky start, getting better by the swing. Birdie is essential for Neil Jones. The man from Dale Hill in front of his home crowd. Yeah, that's good too. It's a chance. But he'll have to hold it. To the man that has that slender lead then. Damon Rakes, last to play off a cracking drive. He's trying to feel this one in. That's adrenaline. That's just all that blood coursing through his veins at 100 miles an hour. It's gone one club too far. Now we saw Jamie squirt his second right. So coming sideways at the green for his third. 
And the picture starting to develop. You've got to think it will not be him. You never know. If he makes a fort, he's got an outside chance. But if this goes in, it's all over for everybody. For the championship, Damon Rakes. On you go. Oh. Nearly the perfect finish. The man from Sussex playing in his first Trilby Tour event. A hair's breadth from taking the trophy. Now he's got to wait. The pain of watching other people putt. This would be a lovely birdie at the finish and a crowd pleaser. It's not going to be that, but a good par in the end. And he can wave goodbye to the Trilby Tour Championship of Sussex for 2019. Jamie Heavens can also do the same. That's unlucky. Had a great day and played some great golf, but it will not be Jamie Heavens. This has to go in. It's simple. Lee Graves. For extra time. Give it a go. No. Of all the putts to hit after a lovely approach, that was not at the top of his list. So, it's very simple. He knows he's won it, Damon Rakes. He's only got to tap it in from three inches. Can he do it? Yes, he can. Look at that. The first Trilby Tour he's ever played in. All the angst, all the worry, all the nerves. It all comes to a head. A brilliant win for Damon Rakes, a superb champion of Sussex, and he will take that back home to his family and the goblet and the crystal and the champagne. Life doesn't get any better. Oh, over the, over the moon. Over the moon. I can't believe this has happened. Like I just said, my dream's come true. I've won the Trilby Tour. Oh, oh, it's great. It's absolutely great. It just it keeps happening, doesn't it? It's like the guy who came through the splash out or the, you know, coming late uh, and his, his adrenaline's up. Damon rode in on a crest of a wave there and, and, and you know, stole the, stole the good, stole the booty, as it were. Um, he played superbly. That's not an easy golf course. And at night, you know, um, there's a lot of talk about pressure here today. And there's, there's a lot of pressure. And you can see it in the faces okay. of these guys. But he, again, he rode out that pressure. The other guys weren't good enough because they couldn't handle it. Arguably the prettiest hole at Dale Hill is the 15th. We thought we'd give shot of the day to Greg Upton for showing us how to play it perfectly. And of course, we open Rogue's Gallery with a rundown of how to play the same hole entirely imperfectly. Trilby regular Phil Steele's first appearance on the show this year demonstrates how to play your tee shot on 15 so that it lands on the green on 14 and then how to send your provisional straight into the woods. Colin Campbell takes an intriguing stab with his tee shot going banana style to somewhere down there. Richard Snowd has done better with his tee shot in that he knows where his ball is, but then makes sure with his second that he'll never, ever find it again. So invasive has the rhododendron become in the UK that councils in Devon and Cornwall are organising crews to grub up and remove them. A policy Ray Robertson definitely wishes had been extended to Sussex. And finally on the picturesque 15th, Steve Moore with a shot that deserves to be properly framed and set in perspective. To the 12th now, and an approach shot from Ed Chapman that initially seems just a little offline, until that is, you discover it's also over the hill and into the woods. Why, you wonder, is Paul Burkowski playing into the bushes on 11? Well, it's because he's actually playing onto the fairway on 16. Similarly, on the same hole, Stuart Johnson's odd-looking bunker escape is really a desperate attempt to re-enter the match he's supposed to be playing on 16. Another man bored with playing the course in the conventional manner is Terry O'Byrne, who decides to leave the fourth behind and run away to join the group on five, whether they want him to or not. In the words of the celebrated novelist Dr. Seuss, on the 10th is Carl Dunk hitting his ball with a thunk. Playing his first ever Trilby event, Ben John shows great rogue's potential by turning this seemingly benign approach on the 10th into a real caddy frightener. Only seven holes into his round and Martin Alcock's caddy has already learned to become a permanent warning sign. Now, 
there's using the contours of the course to your advantage, and there's using the contours of the course to comprehensively take the mick, as Peter Bellion ably demonstrates on the 7th. We end now with a few entries for the Who'd Be a Cameraman file. First, to the fourth and this committed but ultimately inaccurate effort to hit Juby by Aaron Water. On six, while trying to see who's playing from behind that hedge, Juby is next assailed by incoming fire from the following group and is justifiably agreed. Shout would be nice. Finally, still on six and caught in the sights of David Murphy, Juby is again the target, but he's now too wise to suffer such bombardments unanswered and nimbly gives him the old sidestep, before heroically continuing unscathed. And so, as we must, we arrive at the end of the 2019 Regional Championships. There's now only one show left in the Trilby year, and it's the big one, the International Grand Final at Hull Golf Club. Every 2019 champion, the top 10 players from each event, and some old familiar faces face off to see who'll become the latest Trilby Tour World Champion. In the meantime, if you'd like to become involved in the 2020 Trilby Tour, please contact us via the website at www.trilbytour.com. We'll see you next week. William Hunt Savile Row, the perfect gentleman's playground in London, Manchester, Glasgow and Harrogate.